The topic of this video is scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way to write very large or very small numbers in a compact way. Scientific notation takes this form. You take, you have three digits with the decimal point here times 10 to the nth power. You would use it for numbers like this. This is 2 trillion 500 billion. To write this in scientific notation, you need to take the leftmost non-zero digit and you move it to left of the decimal point. You need to count how many how many spaces you move because um, that's very important. So you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve movements. So that twelve would be the n. And because you're moving to the right, you're moving the two to the right, the n will be positive. So it was twelve movements, so it's ten to the twelfth. Okay, you move this two to left of the decimal point, so it's going to go here. And the next two digits will go on the other side. You won't always have two digits, you might have uh, one digit or you might have no digits, you might just have a two. In this uh, situation, since we know these two digits here, we can write them down. Never write down digits that don't exist there. You'll, you'll see that with small numbers. Let's try that again with um, another number. Remember, you take the leftmost non-zero digit and you move it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is going to be ten to the eleventh. Okay. You moved it to left of the decimal point, so it's there, and these two numbers follow. So this number in scientific notation is this 3.57 times 10 to the 11th power okay we grab another piece of paper and do another example and this number okay same thing one, two, three. So we know it's ten to the third. And since we're moving to the right, we know it's positive, and we put the eight. Okay. Let's try another one. Okay, you use the same rules. Leftmost non zero digit, and you move it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know it's going to be 10 to the eighth. And instead of just using these three digits, you see there's a seven here. So you're going to need to round up. So it's going to be three. This turns to a nine. Because you have to round up right here because it's not just uh, three three hundred and eighty-eight uh, million. It's there's some um, num numbers after that, some digits after that. So you have to round up. Now, what about for very small numbers? Well, for very small numbers, this is almost the same thing. You would take the leftmost non-zero digit and move it to left of the decimal point. Okay. But there's a difference. Let's do it. Let's see an example. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. We have this number. It's a pretty small number. Take the leftmost non zero number, a non zero digit, and you move it. One, two, three, 
four, five. You want it here. So we know that it's going to be 10 to the 5. But since we're moving to the left, we know n is going to be negative. So we moved 5 spaces, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we know it's going to be a negative 5. And we put this here. Like that. Okay? Let's try another one. Remember, you take the leftmost non-zero digit, which is 5, and you move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Remember, you want to go to the left of the decimal place. So we know it's going to be 10 to the negative 11 because we're moving to the left. Here again, the same thing is going to happen. You want to round up. You don't want a long if you don't want a long string um, string of numbers behind a decimal point because that defeats the purpose of uh, scientific notation. You you want you don't want any more than two digits after the decimal point. Okay. One last example. Okay. okay. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. We move to the left, six spaces, so n is going to be negative n. It's going to be a negative n, so it's a negative six. Okay? Now, this is the answer. Do, don't do this. This is incorrect. The reason why it's incorrect because you don't know what's on the other side of that six. You don't know. It could be six. This number could be five. 8, 7, whatever after that. You don't know what's behind there. This is as accurate as you can get. So only put a 6 there. And you only use uh, scientific notation when it's um, bigger than, like a, when it's a thousand and up, or it's a, an a thousandth and down. Because um, you don't have to write this. You don't have to write this in scientific notation. You can, but you don't have to, because the number, it's, it's small enough. It's, uh, it's, it's within range, I would say. So this doesn't have to be in scientific notation. All right, thanks.